Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations, where today we're going to get started on our HR3 key quests. So let's get to it. Hi. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, thanks. I, I see what you did there. Cat, a logger. Oh, okay. Sure. Clearly, alphabetical order is not the same as alphabetical order. So, we need to do this one here. And 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 I believe this one. Of course, there's plenty of other things we can do, including these. Not that we're going to even bother to attempt with those at the moment. Uh, do we have anything in the volcano? No, we don't. Not other than Glavinus. So let's just not go to the volcano. Let's do gore. Oh, between episodes, I popped out to Berna just to see if I'd unlocked any additional ingredients, and sure enough, I had. Ooh, look at that. We can get attack up small. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Also, I talked to the Hunter Arts guy, and now I have Sakura Slash level 2, which is like level 1, but slightly stronger. And that's really the only difference between the two not much but it's something now well, let's just bring six of those and I'm gonna want one of those and one of these why not I need to actually make use of the pit traps that I bring though and off we go to slay a gore magala Beneath the azure skies of the Jurassic frontier lurks a mysterious monster cloaked in black writhing in pain it glares from unseen eyes the hunter or the hunted, which will you be? Alrighty. And then... Why, thank you. If only that were a seed. Oh, gee, thanks. Okay, so let's go ahead and snap this up. And then I'm going to dump my honey into my first aid meds. Because Gormagala hits like a truck. There's no two ways about it. Okay. So now to find said Magala. There he is. I found him. What's our sub? Oh, he's leaving. Our sub is non-existent. Okay. Going that way, huh? I can go that way. Yeah, this area of the Jurassic Frontier is really boring. This area, on the other hand, is far more interesting. Aesthetically, I really like the Jurassic Frontier. And for the most part, I like how it's laid out. The exceptions being the lower area. And even the lower area itself, I don't have a problem with. It's the fact that there's only one way down. Like, it's great that there are two ways up, but the fact that there's only one way down makes getting down a bit of a hassle. This gore is actually pretty big. Ooh. Oh. I was hoping that with him hovering above me, he'd actually be in position for that, but he was not. Oh, you're just going to swag walk? I'm going to get a mount hit then. 
I should have stood right in front of his face as he did that. That would have been smart, because then I could have had white. One, two, three. Oh, I am so lucky I was just as far forward as I was. One, two, three. Had to dodge in front of him to get that. All right, buddy. Give me my red. Yeah. Could not dodge in time. And he didn't even try to hit me with that. Seriously, Gore. Come on. I seriously need to remember that Fade Slashes exist. I feel like I'm not going to be a good longsword player until I actually use them. That's kind of why I'm using the longsword in this run, so that I get good with it. Nobody starts good with a weapon. It takes practice. And that is precisely what I'm getting here. Ooh, nice. That was a well-timed true health horn. Man, if you keep letting me do this, I'm going to keep doing it. I hope you know that. That's not going to hit. All right, buddy. There we are. Another mount hit. Three more of those should get us a mount. If my estimate is correct. Yeah, dodge his leaving. Thanks for the herb horn, universe. Now, my uh, pit trap I'm saving for a special moment. Those of you who have fought Gormagal before can probably guess what that moment is. And those of you who haven't, well, you'll get to see. And the shock trap I was saving for, you know, just any old time when he wasn't angry. Oh, barely managed to get out of the way there. What did I break? His face. Oh. Oh, thanks, Pnahabra. I totally wanted that thing you did. I really like the visual for when you've got the frenzy virus on you in this game. It's nice and spooky. Okay, buddy, I'm, I'm going to need you to step into the trap, not fly into it. That would be great. No, not spit at it. Oh, way to take that hit, Bonhabra. So, Gore, over here, please. Anytime now. I won't need this just yet. Come on, Gore. That's a good boy. Ooh, yeah, those after slices are now multiple hits each, which is nice. And according to the Hunter Arts description, that's actually just the wounds opening up and blood spewing forth and other such totally not stupid things. Stupid isn't the right word. But it does feel like it was written by like a 14 year old. Of course, that might have been what they were going for, honestly. Dang it. I dislike when, in trying to get to a monster's tail, I accidentally leave an area. Way to kill the ledge, jerk. Gore, get out of the freaking corner. Please. Thank you. I 
I'm glad I got that hit. Which is a variation of the thing I'm supposed to try and stop saying, so take that. It's not quite the same. I'm not going to chastise myself for it. And away he goes. Nice thing about Sakura Slash 2 is just like the first Sakura Slash, it's still just a medium charge. So it doesn't take any longer to charge up. If it did take longer, then there might be some issues with it. Because it's something that we actually need to have available pretty regularly, I'm finding. Of course, that might just be my own bad play. Like, if I was playing better, sure, I'd probably have way more meter all the time. And probably also find more opportunities to dodge in. Nice. Kinda wish Sakura Slash was charged right now, but it isn't. I wonder if it'll charge when we finish this mount. If not, it'll probably charge in one hit on the tail and then we can use it. Let's find out. Nope, not one hit. Alright. One of those was on the foot, which is not ideal. Especially when you're trying to sever the tail and not the foot. I honestly don't know what good severing the foot would do. Considering that's not a thing that you can do. And I totally rolled into that and not in the good way. Can't get to the tail. Which saddens me because I really want that tail. Because Gore is one of those monsters whose weapons we have a chance to make right off the bat upon killing him. And his weapons tend to be pretty good. Okay. I really have to wonder why Happy always talks like he's a robot. Is he a Robocat? Is he Doraemon? Well, that was nice. Kinda wish I was by the tail, but I'll take what I can get. down. Thank you. And where are you going? That away. I can go that away. And we've got one tiny little ledge in this area. And we used it. To get a mount hit, no less. Alright, Gore. I'm going to need you to either put your feet down or get closer to here. Okay. You chose option two, though not quite in the way I intended. I should have been more specific. Okay. I'll take the tail sever, even if I didn't get my meter up. Rawr. So, looks like he is about ready to enter that mode, and there it is. And looking at him change in this game is much more intimidating than in 4U, mainly just because of the new visual. Like, seriously, the higher fidelity effects are quite impressive, and he didn't even remotely hit his face, which was... Kind of the whole reason 
I brought that trap was so that I could have an easier time hitting that face. Because those horns are a high priority break. Oh, cat. You know exactly what I want. Kind of wish you could have waited till I had green sharp again, but I'll take what I can get. All right, Gore. Yeah, I'm sharpening. Maybe bad idea. Definitely bad idea. Regrets are had. All right, yes, go for the cats. Let me sharpen in peace. Got the break. Got all the breaks. There are no breaks left to get. Dang. All right, buddy. Let's do this again. Okay, if we hit his face one more time, he will leave this mode. That's what that flinch just there told me. That was an improperly timed dodge. And when he leaves this mode, he drops a sparkly, which is always nice. Boop. And there we are. Back to regular gore. And he's tired. That is excellent. And he's going that way. So, those of you familiar with 4U may be seeing that Frenzy Shard and thinking, oh, can we still do melding? Well, not for uh, things other than charms. In this game, Frenzy Shards are the Magala's, well, specifically Gore Magala's equivalent of a Wyvern tier. We got both hits. And this guy is still tired. Ow. Buddy, please keep trying to do this. Of course, I need to actually be somewhere I can hit you with most of my hits instead of just missing. That way, huh? Back to where we came. There we go. Was sticking around for that cheer horn. Yeah, back to where we came. You're still tired, buddy. Well, at least I got one. <laughs> ah, that was embarrassing. This, on the other hand, was nice. And that was a failed add-up dodge and just ended up being a regular dodge. Dang. Oof. No, why couldn't you stay? I so want to pick you out of the air with a freaking spirit attack. Because that would probably feel really cool. And super satisfying. And we have a dramatic need for meter. needs have almost been met. There they are. Now let's get Gage. Excellent. 
Now let's get health. I was kind of hoping that would get to me so I could dodge through it. One, two, three. Yeah, might as well do this. Really wish I could have got both on the face. All right. I kind of need more sharpness. Now seems a good time. There we are. Wow, that was actually surprisingly fast. Also, he died on his tail. All right, Gore, give me your stuff. A plate would be nice. But really, I don't mind what I get as long as it's enough to make your weapon. Because your weapon tends to be pretty amazing. A honk. Not really much of a bonk when there's no collision. No blood splatter. Just goes right through him. Well, whatever. Should probably be gathering, but honestly, the stuff you can gather here is not amazing. There we are. Okay, what have we got? Bunch of stuff. Ooh, and our first uh, armor stone plus. That's actually quite nice. Means we can get more defense. Speaking of defense, I need to see what our negative defense skill is at at the moment. We are at minus four, and that would go to minus nine with the five slots we need to get attack up large. So, let's just have a little look-see. Actually on camera this time, I guess. Because if we look at the Kutku mail. Okay, that's actually the same amount of attack and one point more defense down. So that's bad. We will not be doing that. That would be dumb. I do not wish to be dumb. So which piece is most, mo most, most worth upgrading? Uh, it's looking like maybe the gloves or the waist, depending on slots. Waist has a slot, gloves have a slot. Um, get four points there, get four points there. I'll do the, the, the gloves since they'll be harder to replace in terms of defense. Oh, and then we can level them up using our Bullfango and Bulldrome parts that we have excess of. So, let's not use a tusk. Let's do some Bullfango pelts. There we go. Oh yeah, even more defense. Excellent. And then, can we upgrade anything here? Seems like the answer is no. Can we forge any new long swords? Nope, not even close. That is unfortunate, because that would have been quite an upgrade. But there would have been next to no way we would have gotten that from just one gore anyway. So maybe another time.
And that is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we do another key quest. See you then, friends.